This is something I've been waiting for my entire life. And to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. But I know this is where I belong. So I just got to get out there and do what I was born to do. I hope I can make my family proud. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Ready, gentlemen? Ready? So Phoenix will get the first possession. of professional basketball from green yeah and, and whether he has friends and family in the crowd tonight or, or watching at home I know a lot of people are proud of this young man he's worked so hard to achieve this goal yeah and the future is bright for him Greg not just tonight and not just this season but for years to come on the floor for Dallas they've got Pachulia Nowitzki is out there with Matthews and there's JJ Barea and it's Williams at the two spot here is Matthews. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. Just five on the clock. And the basket by Nowitzki. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Wes Matthews, a hard-nosed player on the wing. Strong frame, and, and he really does put it to good use at both ends. And they'll keep possession. That lead pass. The dish to Matthews. To the middle. Here's Pachulia. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. And Zaja Pachulia, for my money, has been one of the toughest players in the league. He's got a boxer's mentality. Even his face looks a little bit like a boxer's. He doesn't have the quick twitch muscles of some guys, but his power and effort consistently stand out. Talking about Jaja's toughness, it's one of the reasons he has such a high rebounds per minute average over his career. And defending on the blocks, he's almost unmovable. <laughs> he really, you know, a coach kid loves Jaja. He even started him over John Henson uh, by the end of the season. I mean, he's always willing to trade body blows down low and, and certainly wins his fair share of those battles. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Here's Knight, and Pachulia pulls it down. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. From 11 feet away, that's good from Nowitzki on the assist by Williams. Now, just a three-point Suns lead. The Suns have gone two of six from the field in the second quarter so far. Knight kicks to Green. Pass to Tucker. Right wing. Morris a screen. The drive by Green. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And what a feeling it's got to be for this young player is... That last bucket represents the first official score in the NBA from Green. Yeah, and you know, he can relax a little bit now. That first one is in the books. It won't be the biggest bucket he makes in his life, but man, it may be the most memorable. I think you may be right about that. No matter how many thousands of them he winds up with, he'll never forget that first one. Here's Knight after Wesley Matthews' score. Move the ball, stick it too much. Outside Knight. 
down low. Here's Green. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Well, with Reed Clark, there was a question whether he would stay into the year in college. Really was a tough decision for him, but he ended up coming out after his freshman year. And Kevin, it's really hard to blame a guy like Freak for doing that. I mean, he's clearly NBA ready, and he's putting a lot at risk for every year he stays in school when he could be on the NBA clock. And here we see the debut of Freak, the kid from Harlem. His first time on an NBA floor, and Clark, it's a moment that he's worked very hard to achieve, and his family has got to be proud. Extremely so, Kevin. It's been a long journey for him, but every level along the way, he's found success. High school phenom, playing for a college championship. I wouldn't bet against this kid on anything when it comes to basketball. The Phoenix Suns weren't terrible at home by any means last year. They ended up over 500, but, Greg, they weren't quite dominant enough at home to get in the playoffs. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, they finished the year plus three in terms of wins at home. Not bad, but not good enough when you're talking about that Western Conference. Here's Pachulia. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. Shot from 12. That one off the back iron and out. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. But Julia's got three rebounds now in this one. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And when you watch Wes Matthews, you see he's just a fantastic perimeter defender, Clark. He can match up well at either the two or the three. His combination, Kevin, of length and strength and the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going. And heads up and unselfish. That's something I'd like to see even more of. Suns taking the W in a close one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as Clark they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. Yep, and it might not be the way a coach would have drawn it up. Oh man, Anthony Davis, one of the most unique talents in the NBA. I see a lot of myself in him. I can't wait to face him and see if I can get the upper hand. I know I'm still a rookie, but it's the ultimate test to see where my game is at right now. And I live for these moments. So bring it on, Brow. New Orleans land of the Pelicans in a fine Western Conference battle at the New Orleans Arena. Phoenix right now in the middle of a road trip. They've been picking up some steam. And, and if they can play this well all season, they'll be in excellent shape. And I think for the Suns, they've got to be thrilled with the way this season. Twenty seconds left in the first quarter, and Bledsoe. Here we go. Passes to Lewis. 
Outside Knight dishes it to Green. Fades away. Good. And so, lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Pelicans. Uh... And let's hear from Tyson Chandler. He talked about what he brings to this team. I do a lot that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. That's what I pride myself on. You know, some nights you're not going to get the ball, but uh, you still can be effective on the floor. Uh, whether that's rebounding, playing defense, hustling, trying to create extra shots for your team. Whatever it is necessary that I feel like help my team get a win. Chandler has long been the kind of player all coaches want on their team. He's the definition, Greg, of an unselfish player who doesn't care about his ego or his stats. And, and he knows that and, and prides himself on it. That, that also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much because they know nobody wins any rings without a guy like Tyson Chandler on the team. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? I tell you what, defensively, they have been in tune with one another as intense as I've seen. Yeah, nice job helping out on the rotations and drives, doing really good work at the defensive end. On the court for the Suns, Green, he's in at center. Warren is out there with John Lewis. Then there's Brandon Knight, and it's Bledsoe in at the two spot. The second effort, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That one on Perkins. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. For the Phoenix Suns, they're coming off a good outing against the Nuggets in Denver. And how about the accuracy that was on display from three-point range in that game? They were lethal. Yeah, splashing those threes as they did really allowed them to continuously deflate that crowd and keep them at bay. Boy, that was a nice road win for them, no doubt. Suns have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And Anthony Davis growing up in the rough south side of Chicago because of the violence. His father didn't let him venture to the playground. Instead, he built a basketball court in the backyard. This young man has come a long way. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. That is prototype rebounding right there. He gets the position down low, boxes out, and then corrals it. And Cole kicks to Perkins. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Here's Davis. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Davis has got four this quarter. And Davis stayed around the game in grade school. He'd keep the clock, sell the tickets. Even, even someone said sell nachos. Humble beginnings, <laughs> partner. Humble beginnings. Didn't even dream of NBA stardom. Said he wanted to be a high school coach. Obviously, things have changed now. Substitution. And we're through the first half of basketball. Yes, guys, I'm here with Anthony Davis. And Anthony, based on how the game has been going so far, what's your attitude going to be when you come out to play the second half? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. Anthony, thank you. Guys, it should be all business when you step between the lines. Okay, Doris, much. Looking at the last game for the New Orleans Pelicans, it was a win against the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, and in that game, we saw a lot of sloppy play from the opposing offense. They caught the ball up, a lot of unforced turnovers. And that did make things relatively easy for them. You know, it's nice to get a win and not have to work too hard for it. The shot-blocking pair of Davis and Ashik inside. 
Holiday and Evans comprise the backboard. And it's Anderson in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Evans kicks to Davis. They set the screen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his sixth assist on the night. Phoenix looked to be on the verge of making it back into the playoffs last season. Ultimately, though, Greg, they faltered in the second half of the year. Yeah, it was a three-team race. And after coming up short in 14, the Suns had the edge early. As you said, Kevin, they simply couldn't keep things going in the second half of the season. Uh, you know, guys, the Suns went from the eighth seed to finishing 10th in the West. I mean, it would have been a tough task for them to stay in the race, particularly after all the trades. I mean, their um, team was in transition. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. John Lure, he's checked in for Chandler. And it's Booker in for Brandon Knight. Here's Evans. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And when you shake up a roster, as the Suns did last year, it's hard to keep pace. They, they ended six games back of that final playoff spot, but that all happened after they decided to shake things up. New Orleans making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. Last season was possibly the best of Tyreek Evans' career, at least since his unbelievable rookie campaign. Yeah, and Kev, a lot of that has to do with his injury history. I mean, last year he played in 79 games. That's the most of his career. So you could say it was probably the healthiest season he's had since he was a rookie. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. You're right, Clark. Just continue to pound it in the paint and get those easy points inside. His shooting has been outstanding. Here. Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Tucker can't get it to go. You know, back to Tyreek Evans last year, he had a big jump in three-point percentage. He was also up in assist rebounds. Really did a lot of good things. The only bad news, he was also up in turnover. Gordon against Bloodsoe. Five on the clock. Deep two from Anderson. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And talking about Tyreek Evans, you really hope he can build on what he did last year. He has too much talent to waste on inconsistency. Time for him to just step up here in the prime of his career. Ludzo passes to Green. Here's Tucker. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. That is such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. Some changes for New Orleans. Perkins is checked in for us. Who battles? Watch him. He's coming out over there. Balanced scoring, Clark, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch, everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> 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 Setting the floor for the Suns. Green in its center. Booker out there at Bloodsoe. Then it's John Lure, and it's Warren in at the three spot. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability. What was the focus on strategy for this team coming into tonight's game? Just playing hard, you know. Uh, you know, we had a meeting today as a team, and uh, we just wanted to come in and play hard with energy. You know, that's where it starts from. You know, and, uh, we did a great job that night. Tyreek, thank you, Kevin. Amazing what can happen when you play hard. Thank you, Doris.